Hi, my name is Matt Hinkle. I'm going to go over some basic friction loss for firefighters using two different formulas. The first formula is going to be the friction loss formula, which is going to give us our friction loss in the hose that we're using. The second one is going to be a pump discharge pressure formula, which is going to tell us what pressure we need to pump on our pump panel. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the friction loss formula, and I've written it in two different ways. The first one is friction loss equals C, which is your coefficient of friction, Q, which is actually in hundreds of gallons per water squared, and L, which is actually length of hose per hundred feet. So I'll rewrite it as friction loss equals C is coefficient of friction, Q divided by 100, because it's in hundreds of gallons per minute squared, and then L divided by 100, because it's length of hose per hundred feet. Okay, for example, I'm going to use 200 feet of inch and three-quarter hose line flowing 150 gallons per minute out of a fog nozzle. So I will write down my formula, friction loss equals C, Q divided by 100 squared, and L divided by 100. I'll rewrite this as friction loss equals my coefficient for an inch and three-quarter hose line, which is 15.5, Q, which is going to be 150 gallons per minute. So I'll write that as 150 over 100 squared. And then L, which is going to be 200 feet of hose. Then I'll work my problem out. 150 divided by 100 is 1.5, and that squared is going to be 2.25. 200 divided by 100 is 2. So when I work this problem out, I'll just multiply 15.5 times 2.25 times 2, and I'm going to end up with 69.75. And for friction loss purposes, we're just going to round that number up to 70. So that means that we have 35 PSI friction loss per 100 feet of hose, equaling 70 PSI. Okay, now that we've determined the friction loss in the hose, we're going to be able to use our pump discharge formula to find out what pressure we need to pump at our pump panel for that hose line. We also need to know the nozzle pressure. That's going to be based on whether what your nozzle is set on. We're going to use 100 PSI for our fog nozzles, and typically we use 50 PSI for a smooth bore hand line. We also need to know whether we have any elevation gain or loss that will affect our pressure. For this problem, we're not going to use any elevation. So we know our friction loss in the hose was 70 PSI. Our nozzle pressure is going to be 100 PSI because that's what we need to get to the nozzle for it to operate correctly, is 100 PSI fog nozzle. We have no elevation gain or loss. So our pump discharge pressure is going to be 170 PSI. So now let's talk about elevation, because elevation affects our friction loss and our pump discharge pressure. If we take a column of water measuring one foot by one foot, it will exert pressure of 0.434 pounds per one foot. If we take a 10 foot column of water, we'll just multiply that number times 10 and get 4.34. That's going to be 4.34 PSI for a 10 foot column of water. So typically for our elevation gain or loss, we'll just round that number up to 5 PSI. So if we have a loss of 10 feet, we'll subtract 5 PSI from our pump discharge pressure. If we have a gain of 10 feet to where the nozzle is, we'll add 5 PSI for the friction loss in the hose. We'll also add 5 PSI per floor above the first floor. So we will not count the first floor, but if you're on the fire, fire floor being the second floor, we'll add 5 PSI to our equation to give us the right nozzle pressure on the second floor. Okay, so now let's work a problem all the way through. Let's take 200 feet of inch and three quarter flowing 95 gallons a minute out of a fog nozzle, fighting fire 20 feet uphill from the pumper. So friction loss equals our, equals our coefficient of friction, which is 15.5. The 
quantity squared is going to be 95 gallons a minute. So we'll do 95 divided by 100 squared. And the length is going to be 200 feet. Which we do 200 feet, we do it per 100 feet. So we're going to take 15.5 and multiply it times 95 divided by 100 squared, which is going to be 0 0.9025. And multiply that times 2. So our friction loss should equal 28 psi. If you do the calculations, you'll actually end up with 27.97, but we'll round up for 28 psi on 200 feet of line flowing 95 gallons a minute out of a fog nozzle. Okay, now we can use the pump discharge formula. We know our friction loss was 28 psi. Our nozzle pressure is going to be a fog nozzle, so we'll use 100 psi. And then our elevation gain, we're going to use 5 psi per 10 feet. We're fighting fire 20 feet uphill from the pumper, so we'll use plus 10 psi. That'll give us 138 psi. equals our pump discharge pressure.